When winter hits Canada's biggest city, getting around can become a nightmare, even for people on foot. But hidden below the streets and skyscrapers of Toronto is a marvel of subterranean engineering that lets people here escape the weather. Under the city's skin lies a parallel world. It's called PATH. 17 miles of walkways, shopping malls, and subway stations carved into the soft ground under the city. Six miles east of downtown at the Scarborough Bluffs, Nick Isles looks for clues about this very special soil. It's really a unique story, really, when you think that just a few tens of thousands of years ago, which is nothing to a geologist, ice up to the base of the clouds completely covered this area, left all these extensive deposits. It's a curious material, really, because it's made up of far-traveled pebbles and boulders. And these have come from a long way away. And then it's, it's mixed in with what is described as rock flour. And if we dissect it, we can see there's a lot of fine paste-like material. This soil is called till, tiny grains of minerals that used to be big rocks. In terms of the geology of Toronto, this is the most important layer because it's thick, sometimes 70 meters thick, and it covers huge areas. What forces could grind solid rock into flour? Ninety thousand years ago, a huge glacier was moving over the place where the skyscrapers stand today. The rocks it ripped from the ground tumbled inside the ice for millennia until they turned into tiny grains of till. When the glacier melted, it left behind a thick layer, which Toronto stands on today. 